He's so fresh to everything. He's a uh, almost like a surrogate for the audience to um, see this world through his eyes. And uh, I think that's what uh, Josh and Stephanie have brilliantly executed in their scripts. Very excited about uh, City on Fire. I I've had a chance to watch a, a lot of it, and and it's very uh, very twisty. There's 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 a uh, it's a crime drama, and it's a it's a there's some thrilling elements, and it's it's interesting. Um, your character Charlie, um, kind of sort of very much part of the center of the story, uh, and and one thing that I feel like I noticed was Charlie is very much kind of almost the most relatable character in the show. Sure. Like yeah. as far as like finding yourself sort of like um, in this world that you don't really, you know, you're kind of caught up in. Anyway, I, I was curious what drew you to Charlie initially into wanting to play that role. Yeah. Um, I think Charlie's such an interesting and deep character that we get to really explore throughout the show. Um, starting out as this awkward kid who, doesn't really know his place in the world. And then through Sam finds someone who gives him a sense of purpose and belonging and then losing her, he kind of uh, loses the ground under his feet and is unable to um, find out what he needs to do next. And he feels like if he loses her, then he loses everything. And that gives him the motivation to then become an active character and pursue, um, pursue the answer. And that's what I loved about Charlie is that he goes from this kind of fragile, insecure kid to this, like, I know my place, I'm gonna do what I have to do, morals aside, to figure out what happened to Sam. And that is such a fun character arc to play. It's really cool, and, it, and, and it, since it takes place in in like the early 2000s, post 9-11, yeah. and there's this sort of neo-Bohemian vibe to it all. And and I, I thought it was interesting how Charlie sort of finds a community in the aftermath of what happens to Sam. Yeah. Like that was kind of a fascinating aspect for me. And I was just wondering if that was something that you sort of noticed in the story. Absolutely. Yeah. I think, um, you know, his initial reaction is to run away from everything, even his mom. Like he doesn't want to be around anyone who doesn't feel like will understand him. And his mom is, you know, he thinks the last person who will, you know, be there for him. Um and what's so great is that like he finds these people, he finds solace in these people who knew Sam and and then through that he's like, oh, Sam is Sam didn't tell me everything. And then he starts to discover more and maybe he's like, oh, maybe these people aren't even the people I should be with. And like he kind of gets to create his own angle on everything. And like, I get, that's another thing I love about him is he's so fresh to everything. He's a, a almost like a surrogate for the audience to um, see this world through his eyes. And uh, I think that's what uh, Josh and Stephanie have brilliantly executed in their scripts. Completely agree. Phenomenal writing. It's yeah. a phenomenal series. Uh, yeah. Wyatt, thank, thank you, you so much. It, it's on Apple TV Plus uh, May 12th, Friday, May 12th. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.